good morning i am so sleepy this morning last night we went out to a very nice nice dinner at Claro in Tel Aviv. If you've never been, I really recommend it. So we kind of had a late start this morning, but I wanted to vlog today. First, I'm taking my first ever Hebrew lesson to perfect my Hebrew because I can speak, want it to be perfect. <laughs> and then after this, I'm going to make some bolecas. I thought it'd be fun to take you along on my day today so we can make the bolecas together. We'll have a good day. יש לי מילים שאני לא מבינה, וזה למה אני בשיעור של סידיזין קפה. מצד אחד, אני רוצה לאתגר אותך, ומצד שני, אני רוצה שאתה... I think you are going to fall in love with these bolikas and before I walk you through how to make them I just want to say that these are more like a cake bolikas rather than your typical filo dough. So I started with some kashkaval cheese and I didn't have any shredded so I shredded my own. And then to my shredded spinach I added about a third of a cup of crumbled feta, half a cup of the kashkaval and a third cup of ricotta. But you could honestly add whatever cheeses you like. This is just the combination that I really enjoy. And then I'm adding two eggs inside and I'm gonna mix it all up. But again, you could honestly play around with your ingredients inside and you can make this whatever you want. Some people add meat, some people add a mushroom concoction. You do, you boo. Leave a comment if you've ever made these kinds of bolecas. I did a really deep search and I couldn't find any of these online. Moving right along, let's make the dough. Do not be alarmed because this is a very oily dough. You're gonna do two cups of vegetable oil, one cup of water, a pinch of salt. I recommend adding a little bit more. And then when it comes to the flour, please add as much as you think you need until you see a dough start to form. It's very hard for me to say because I live in Israel. It's very, very humid here. So I just kept adding and adding and adding and adding until I felt like a good dough started to form. But the trick is don't make it too tough because you're going to spread the dough you'll see in a second but just keep mixing keep adding playing around with it I honestly just had so much fun adding as much flour as I thought I needed but here you can see I'm going to spread it down eventually we're gonna add the filling and then we're gonna add a little bit more of the dough on the top I mentioned this a little bit later in the video but I added a little bit too much dough on the bottom so when you make this try to not add as much dough on the bottom and leave more for the top you'll see when it comes up soon um, but yeah just add your filling to the top of the dough and as you can see you can add whatever filling you like just have fun with this and then here is probably not the most conventional way to add dough to the top, but my grandmother taught me to do it like this, so that's how I'm going to do it. <laughs> it's just the easiest way for me to uh, kind of put all the pieces together. It was like a little puzzle, you guys. I added too much of the dough on the bottom and I didn't leave enough at the top, so when you make it, leave enough for the top so that you can cover the whole thing because I struggled a bit, but I think it'll be okay. Okay, now comes the hardest part in my opinion, and that is to cut it diagonally. So, I really don't know why I said this was hard because honestly it was not that hard. Just get a very sharp knife and just cut diagonally, Sivan. Make whatever shapes you like. I just did diagonally because I thought it looked prettier, but you can make um, however you like. I don't really know what other shape you would make, but make it into whatever shape you'd like. wasn't too bad. I think I did a good job. Good luck, little guy. Tarunai, please beg very well. Amen. I'm blessing it. I'm blessing my bore. They look good. I really hope that they uh, they work out in the oven. Let's 
say a little prayer for the Holy Fessy. Okay, the Bolvecas have come out of the oven. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do a taste test. This is the way that I'm gonna do a taste, taste test. Let me just show what you're doing. Okay. Um, it's very yeah. important the way that you're putting the salt in order for it to sprinkle. The okay, right tra way. traditionally you eat bolecas with a hard boiled egg, egg, jaminados. Not jaminados. Oh, I think maybe that's it's in some Spanish. Some kind of word that we eat. Jaminados. Not the jaminados. <laughs> it's not it's like Spanish. Well, I'm going to show you that. Jaminados. I thought it was like a hard boiled egg. Anyways, traditionally you pair bolecas with a hard boiled egg some grated tomatoes that Nani has made and you could do it with trina or labane, um, anything spicy and also um, olives and pickles on the side. Like that's traditional. So Danny always makes a sandwich out of his and he's taste testing without me. That's fine. Mm. Whoa! <laughs> Would well, you rate it? From I have like ten, the, the legit bakeries in Israel. What would you rate this? I'm gonna be well, honest. But it's not, I didn't taste something like that before, so it's very hard to compare it. This dough is very different from traditional phyllo dough. It's not a phyllo dough, it's more of like a cake dough. So it's different. Yeah, and you know what I, we need to put in? Ma. Pesto. I'm gonna bring this little bad boy. <laughs>